charging. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in this video, we are going to talk about top five charging stocks that you can actually swing um, between now and um, this whole process of the infrastructure bill that uh, Joe Biden is trying to pass. Um, again, some of these stocks are ones you can hold long term. But if you're looking for a charging opportunity, I think uh, these are stocks that are going to benefit from uh, some of the stuff that I'm reading in that bill. So that's what I want us to cover in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. If there's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So guys, uh, Joe Biden has actually proposed a two trillion dollar infrastructure and jobs uh, a budget. And so um, this is going to go through again. This is just the, the starting phase of it. This is from him um, and his administration, but this has to go through Congress and, you know, all the crazy that goes with that. So, uh, but right now he's looking at, hey, this is, we want $2 trillion for infrastructure and jobs. And so in, in the bill, there's certain things I wanted to point out so you guys can actually um, see. So if you look here, so it says the plan include everything from road repairs and electric uh, vehicle stations um, to public schools upgrade and training and clean energy workforce. So um, I'm going to scroll down here so you guys can actually see the first one where I want us to really take a look at, at where, and this is where it does impact uh, the stocks that I want to show you guys is uh, here on their transportation. So the first one here is the transfer, transportation infrastructure. So they're going to spend $621 billion on um, transportation infrastructure. And here's the kicker here. So there's a, about $174 billion or about 28% of the transportation uh, portion on electric vehicles. And then if you take the breakdown of that, the, the, the goal is that they want to include a network of over 500,000 electric vehicle stations, so charging stations across the country. So again, we have all these other charging stations or uh, charging companies that are out there. So you would see that they would benefit from a bill like this. Trust me, you have people right now in Washington lobbying for all these uh, budget and so that they can gain some of the money and you know, get the contracts to be able to implement these charging stations across the country. So you would see that and then companies that are uh, transitioning or the federal government uh, transitioning from um, uh, fossil fuel vehicles to uh, electric vehicles. So you're going to see a lot of that coming in. So, um, But this one, I wanted to just focus on this first part here where it's talking about providing those um vehicle stations for uh, electric vehicle stations um, for government fleets and even I'm pretty sure to subsidize the private sector as well. So this is this is what I want us to focus on uh, in this conversation. So right now, when it comes to electric vehicle charging stations, um, obviously we have companies like Tesla that have their own electric uh, tr charging stations because, um, I mean, it's Tesla, but we have other companies uh, utilizing third-party charging stations to charge their vehicles. And so the first one that I want to mention here is Bling Charging. Again, guys, I've covered these um, companies here on the channel uh, in depth. I did a video on my top four electric vehicle charging companies. So if you if you didn't watch that video, I'm going to hook it up here so you can definitely go check out that video. But this one, I'm just showing you guys like, hey, these are companies that uh, would benefit from this a massive uh, infrastructure bill that uh, the Biden administration is, is putting out there. So um, as when we're doing this video, Bling Charging is currently trading at about $41.31. So um, I'm anticipating that this thing, because I think Bling had actually gone up to, if we can go back maybe six months here, you can see Bling got to a high of about $60 before pulling back. So, uh, I mean, I anticipate that they would benefit from this. And you can see a squeeze all the way to even $50 uh, once these bills uh, start to take effect. Again, uh, know that there's going to be some battle in Congress, but at the end of the day, we know that the bill somehow a portion or some of that money is going to go through for, for you know, the infrastructure um, 
build that bad and it's pushing through. Then the second one that I want to show you guys here is charge point. Again, I've actually covered the details of this. Um, if you don't really quite understand what they do, and I'm going to put the links to each of these companies in the description if you want to go read about them. I'm just showing like, hey, these are companies that will benefit from that first phase of the build that I, I just showed you guys. Um, so charge point is currently trading at $29.49. Um, again, I would expect this one to see somewhere uh, between $35 and $40 if the bill goes through. And if not, it might even go higher than that, uh, depending on how much money um, Biden's administration end up getting from Congress um, to you know, push through the infrastructure bill. Then um, next one here is EVgo. Uh, pretty much similar uh, process. If you haven't already, just read it to build electric charging stations. Uh, like I said, the, the beauty about a lot of these charging stations are that they don't have to have a specific um, station like a, a fossil fuel gas station. So if you go to a parking lot at your work, at the grocery store, at your gym, everywhere they can just install these charging stations. And so you can charge a car as you go. But in case where uh, if you're, you're driving on the freeway, they might have um, some you know, charging stations where you can pull up and charge. But um, you can also see gas stations or fossil fuel stations that retrofitting electric uh, vehicle charging as well. So definitely keep an eye on that. And this one is actually in the process of going public through uh, a spark called Climate Change Cries uh, Real Impact. So you'd see that um, the ticket symbol for this one is CLII. So you can definitely go check them out. And then um, we have our EV box here. Um, again, this one is pretty much the same principle. Um, they provide charging for vehicles, you know, for either for your home, your business, or every other location that you want. Uh, this one too is actually in the process of going public through a Spark uh, TPG Pace uh, Beneficiary Finance. So ticket symbol is TPGY. So definitely check them out. Um, and then uh, this one, uh, I really like this one in, in, in particular. This is our NERF uh, technology. I don't know if I'm saying the name right, but it's N-U-V-V-E, NERF technology. Um, I really like the concept here because uh, if you can see here, it's called, called V2G. Um, so vehicle to grid technology. So basically, uh, I'm going to scroll down here to like, explain the way this it works so you guys can actually see. So for the most part, they are using vehicles as uh, batteries to store charges. So if you uh, have a, an electric vehicle that has the, the vehicle to, uh, to greet um, technology in it, what you can do is you can actually charge your vehicle. And then um, when the grid is low, in power, you can actually turn around and sell that charge back to the grid or put that charge back to the grid. And then they have uh, their, their software that you can actually use or their mobile app that you can use to say, okay, I only want to send back, let's say 20% of my fully charged vehicle back into the grid. And then it will discharge 20% back into the grid and then you can get paid for that. So the concept is a little bit different from um, all the other charging stations where you just charge and go. But this one, you can charge and then uh, when we um, really are short of power, you can turn around and provide that power back into the grid and get paid for doing that. So that's, that's a, a unique concept uh, and I like the, the, the concept. I mean, that way energy is not just being held in vehicles. Even if they're not driving, you can use that to put it back in the grid and keep us going. And so this one is also in the process of going public through uh, a Spark newborn acquisition. Ticket symbol is NVVE. So you can definitely um, check them out um, and just do some research on them. So um, there you go. Those are the five charging stocks that I see that would potentially benefit from this uh, transportation infrastructure uh, budget right here, currently sitting at about $621 billion. Uh, but the breakdown uh, as to what a, a portion of that budget would impact the charging of electric vehicles would be $174 billion. That's still a whole uh, ton of money that people can benefit from and all these companies can actually benefit from. Like I said, you're going to see an army of lobbies in Washington right now, everybody trying to take a piece of this uh, this cake right now because, I mean, that's a lot of money to go around for all of them. So just a quick recap here. The five companies that we'll cover here is number one is Blink. Uh, ticket symbol here is BLNK. 
The second one is charge point. Ticket symbol here is CHPT. Third one is EV Go. Um, the ticket symbol here is CLII. Uh, fourth one is uh, EV Box. Ticket symbol is TPGY. And then the last one is Nerf Technology. Ticket symbol here is NVVE. So those are the top five. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this. Do you currently own any of these stocks? Just for transparency, I currently own uh, in my portfolio, I have Bling. I bought Bling when Bling was still, um, I don't know, like five bucks or so, so and I'm still holding it um, uh, long term. And then um, also, again, I've, I've, I've spoken to you guys here. Uh, when uh, TPG announced their merger, I did buy some. I'm still holding it, so we'll see how that goes. But I mean, I'm, I don't want to hold every single charging um, company, so I'm just going to stick with Bling for now and then um, see what, what happens. I'm going to start looking at these ones and see who's expanding and taking a bigger share of the market, and that's the person that I'm going to focus and throw a lot of money into. Uh, but for now, those are the top five that I wanted to share with you guys. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. If that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, if you are looking to get started with investing, Weibo has their promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get some free stocks, links in the description. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated. Thank you.